So if I'm a business owner listening to this and I'm thinking, hey, I like what I'm hearing. How do I create my knowledge into something that generates more leads, more traffic? Yep. How would you help people do that? So if, if you're a business owner or a business leader today and you're not reevaluating your marketing budget and putting 20, 30, 50%, maybe even more into thought leadership, you're going to lose. Right. You might not lose today, but you're going to lose market share. Your rate of growth is going to go down. Your we're all listen, we're all being commoditized. Right. I the, the we're living in an age now for the first time in history where the advantage is to the buyer. Right. So if you're going to buy a new car tomorrow, Brad, you're going to you're going to go online and you're going to become an expert in whatever that car is. Right. Versus 10 years ago, you'd walk into the dealer and they've got you, man. They've got you. You're going to go in there now and know the inventory, know the cost, know the resale value and say, dude, I'm going to pay you X dollars for that, you know, blue BMW over there. Would you like it? And you probably don't even need to go into the showroom. You can go online and put out that request. Um, yeah, they're doing it now. Right. That's it's all they're doing. So I, I, I think every business is being commoditized. And the cheapest, most effective, most efficient way to decommoditize or, or slow down the rate of commoditization is the integration of thought leadership into whatever you've got. Whether, you, whether you're a dentist, whether you're a, an advisor, a consultant, an accountant, a lawyer, whatever it is, how do you start reallocating your marketing dollars away from things that don't work or used to work or aren't working as well into thought leadership and into creating really good thought leadership that builds your brand, differentiates you, attracts net new clients into the system. And we were talking about it earlier, everybody's so focused on attracting net, net new clients and it's harder and harder and harder to do that. Because we're all competing through the same noise, the same, you can go to Google, I can go to Google, right? Oh, okay, great. So I can outbid you on an ad, you can outbid me on an ad. Eventually, it's just not profitable <laughs> to be in that space and profitable for Google because they're taking both of our money, but only one of us could win.